Hey guys, welcome back to Motorway with the Morleys, your channel for all things caravanning, getting outdoors with the kids, helping you to get the most from your caravan and inspire you to get away. This video is about caravan security and associated products. Today we're taking a look at some products from Maypole. We've got a wheel lock and also uh, indeed a hitch lock as well. For the purposes of being in completely transparent and honest, this video is in part sponsored by Maypole. Um, they have sent us the wheel lock to try out and let you know our thoughts on that. Um, the hitch lock we did actually buy when we bought the caravan uh, and we've been using that for just over two years now. So with all that said and done, um, let's kind of get on into what this what this video is. So we're just looking at a couple of products that is going to help you secure your caravan whilst it's in storage, whilst you're maybe in transit, whilst it's at home, or in fact on site as well. So it's not a completely exhaustive lift. This is just two particular types of products that you can include and add on to your caravan to make it a little bit more secure. Of course, there are other things you can do to help secure your caravan. You can fit an alarm. Uh, use a tracker service, there's Chris registration, all those sorts of things. There are other videos that cover those areas and I'll put a link into the description for all of those. This is a this can form part of a sort of complete playlist if you like that might be of interest to you if you're new to caravanning and just coming into the hobby. So without further ado let's have a look what comes in the box then we'll go outside and fit them to the caravan and just show you how easy it is to fit both of these products uh, and it shouldn't be something that you should not do because it's a pain. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside the box. Now, as you'll see here, this is a stronghold hitch for a winter half hitch. Now, our Eldis has a winter half hitch on it, so we have bought this, the correct and the specific hitch lock for that particular hitch. Obviously, Stronghold and Maypole make products for many different hitches, so make sure you're getting the right one for the particular hitch that you've got. So, let's have a look at what's inside. So, we've been using this for a while now, so we haven't got the foam and things like that that comes inside, but essentially you get some assembly and fitting instructions. You get a security ball to go into the hitch itself when you put this on. You do get three keys, but obviously there's only one here. And then you get the main securing device itself. The hitch lock has an anti-saw steel casing and yet is still lightweight, weighing in at under three kilos. The hitch lock is sold secure gold rated. So let's go and have a quick look to see how we get it on the caravan, how easy it is to fit and some of the things that you need to think about once it's been fitted. So to fit the, so to fit the hitch lock, you take the two parts, you take the two parts of the body apart, fit your securing Ball. pop the hitch down that on this particular hitch goes in like so with one the other side turn the key and away you go and that is as difficult as it is to fit um, so it doesn't matter if the car is here and you're not using that it's as simple as put the key in turn it and pull the two parts the two parts of the lock apart it's really 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 straightforward to do so let's have a quick look inside the box, what comes supplied, what you need to know, those sorts of things. Okay, so inside the box we have some fitting instructions. You have uh, some more instructions there. We also have, uh, you get three keys, like with the hitch lock. You get an Allen key, this isn't the one that came supplied with it. Regrettably, that has been temporarily lost. You get the device itself, the lock itself. You also get a bolt itself, and then there is a specific, um, there is a specific nut that that sits into, all of which will become a little more obvious when we go outside and I'll show you how to fit it. And then we get this securing bar as well. Okay, so let's go outside, show you how it fits onto the caravan, how easy it is to do. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when we get to our wheel is we need to remove one of the wheel nuts. 
um, with, and then we need to fit this nut in here, which we are then able to screw the bolt into like so. So when that's been done, obviously we've left this on the caravan. So to fit the device, you can see here there's a hole there and there's a hole there. And essentially what we do is we push the device into there and then this here sits like so into there. So let's crack on, put that in there like so. Line this up, pop our bolt in, do this up. This doesn't need to be that tight, you can just go needs to hold this barrel in place really. The wheel clamp barrel is made from hardened steel and features anti-pick locks. So there we go, that's nipped up, that's as tight as it needs to go. Rotate that round, pop that in, turn it anti-clockwise, pop the protector on and that's it done, fitted. Now to remove the lock it's just the opposite, so put this off, pop the key in, turn it clockwise, pull the barrel out, this is where we recommend having the lubrication, having a bit of uh, anti-corrosive uh, lube in there. Pop that out. It's lightweight and salt secure gold rated too. There we go, pop that out, that comes off, and away you go. Now you can obviously choose to replace the wheel nut and put the wheel nut that the caravan uses uh, into there if you want. We just torque that up to the same torque setting as the rest of the nuts and we just leave it there. We've never had any problems but I'll leave that up to you in entirely which is your preference to do. But there you go. That's how you fit, how you remove the Maypole Stronghold alloy wheel lock. There you go. So with all of that kind of said and done, what little tips and tricks have we got um, to get best use out of these products? We do recommend that regularly that fairly regularly you spray them with some sort of lubricant just to help the mechanism stop from stop from uh, gunking up really and stop from any corrosion. The hitch lock as you've seen is very easy to attach, it's very quick to do so and it's really important that when you are travelling, when you're in transit, if you have to stop at a motorway services that you just pop something like the hitch lock on. You'll notice you don't have to unhitch from the car, it will go straight on, it takes less than 10 seconds to fit. And it does mean that your, your unit is then secure to your car. If you think about how easy it would be at a service station to literally just pull up alongside a caravan, unhitch it, push it back, put it onto another hitch and drive off. If that was you, you'd be absolutely pig sick for not doing something that is so quick and easy to do. Now we don't recommend that you travel with the hitch lock attached. Um, so it is something that we would say you would you should take off once you've got back to your car if you've stopped at the services And the reason for doing that is if for whatever reason you do have to stop unhitch I don't know maybe there's a fire maybe whatever you need you don't want to be scrambling around for a key to do so So just make sure you pop it off before you continue your journey Now the other thing as well to mention is that whilst you're on site you should really be fitting these devices as well We would you would think that everybody who goes on to site is all uh, has well has well meaning um, and that everybody you know everybody is there to have a great time and in our experience that is the case however it doesn't take much searching either on Facebook or on YouTube to find examples of stories where people have managed to get into sites and have actually even even uh, used a Stanley blade to rip awnings off to take a caravan that you sought after so there's really no excuse for not fitting these when you're on site. Your insurance will probably stipulate that you need to do that anyhow, so it's always important that we do make sure we secure the unit when we are on site as well. Just to prevent those, you know, if we can make life harder for a criminal, that's exactly what we're looking to do here. So I hope that gives you some insight into some of the things that we use to secure our caravan. If it has indeed been helpful to you, hit the thumbs up. Let us know any comments you might have, any other tips and trips that you, tips and tricks that you can help maybe a newbie caravan out because there's lots of seasoned caravanners that watch these videos and if we can help somebody who's just coming into the hobby that's exactly what we want to do you know this is a place to learn and to share experiences and to share our knowledge 
hit subscribe if you've not already done so and hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload. Don't forget to check out our brand new website just launched, the-morleys.co.uk for all of the other bits and pieces that are going on. There's a contact page on there if you want to get in touch with us. Until the next time, thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support and we'll see you guys soon on another video. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you.